Without the ability to understand the schematic of a device, you will not be able to know the cause of its failure. Schematics make repairing easy and efficient. This course was created specifically for those who want to professionally master schematic reading and electronics device repairing. Hi, and welcome again. So, in this class, we're going to see some basic electronics symbols. So, let's get started. So, as you see here, this is a variable resistor. Okay? Why? Because we have here this arrow across this resistor. Means this is a variable resistor. Okay? This is another symbol for a variable resistor, as you see. Because the resistor has two symbols, this symbols and this, okay? So this symbol without this arrow is used in US, but for this symbol, this is an international symbol, okay? So this is a variable resistor, as you see here, and for this, this is capacitor. Okay, this is capacitor, but this capacitor is a normal capacitor. It's not a polarized capacitor. Why? Because we don't have here any sign plus or minus. Okay, we can call this capacitor the P if capacitor. Okay, P if capacitor. We find this kind of capacitors, P if capacitor in the computer motherboards or laptop motherboards or in some electronic devices that has many SMD components okay so this is a transistor but this symbol is not for a normal transistor this is a photo transistor why because we have the here two arrows as you see means the signal that enable this transistor is not the current or voltage light okay so this is a photo transistor okay as you see here this is the same principle for this transistor we have here the same logic as you see this is a photo diode and we have here the varicap we can use this transistor in place of this varicap okay so this is an opto isolator or optocoupler that we find in the HMPS mode or in the switch mode power supply okay so here this is the symbol of ground okay this is analog ground so for the ground there is many types of ground, analog ground or digital ground. Exactly, this is the symbol of digital ground and the chassis ground. Okay, as you see, like this, this is the symbol of chassis ground. Always we find this kind of ground, chassis ground, in cars, for example, in automobile. Okay. So for this, this is capacitor. And this time we have here plus sign, of course, here minus. So this is a polarized capacitor, okay? Not like this one. So this is polarized capacitor or electronic capacitor, okay? So this is the inductor. This is the symbol of inductor, always we present the inductor with L, the letter L, okay? So this is inductor or coil, okay? And this is the symbol of a resistor, okay? Exactly like this, but for this, this is variable resistor and this a normal resistor, okay? This is a US symbol, okay? This symbol used in US, but for this, this is an international symbol, okay? So let's go here and see what is this. So this is a switch, okay? 
a normal switch with when true okay we have here when true and one pole so this is single pole okay single pole as you see we have just one pole and single true okay so single pole single true switch because sometimes you can't find a switch with two poles okay or two true so we have single pole single true double pole double true etc okay so over here this is opto isolator or optocoupler as I told to you we find this kind of components in the switch mode power supply SMPS okay so as you see we have here a diode LED a light emitting diode that emits the light to the varicap as you see this is the varicap we can use here this the photo transistor okay so when this transistor or this varicap receives the light here for example for the transistor when it receives the light in its base it will be in the working state so when this transistor receives the light here the current will flow okay in this direction from collector to emitter so the same principle for the varicam when it receives the light here it will be in the work state okay so let's go and see the symbol so this is an amplifier as you see this is amplifier okay so always the amplifier has two inputs okay let's assume that we have here plus and here minus okay and this is the output okay so two inputs and output so this is amplifier okay so over here we have a resistor a variable resistor and this is a diode as you see so we have this line here means this is the cathode or the negative terminal and over here we have the positive terminal so this is diode always the current pass in this direction okay but in this direction it is blocked okay so this is a diode okay so here we have a anode and here cathode okay or minus and plus so if you want to test or to check this diode using the multimeter you should always put the negative probe of the multimeter here in this part and the positive probe here okay to check it okay so this is a transistor okay so this is a transistor we have here base okay so we have collector base emitter so this is transistor the symbol of transistor and this kind of transistor is NPN transistor why NPN transistor because we have this arrow in this direction from base to emitter but if we have a row in this direction it will be the P and P okay so there is two types of transistor NPN transistor and P and P transistor okay so always the transistor works when it receives here a current or a voltage or a light in this case in photo transistor Okay. so when it receives here signal because this is a normal transistor the current will flow in this direction okay so over here this is just a wiring dot this and this so focus in this symbol and in this symbol so what is the difference between this and this so for this means we have here connection between this wire and this wire this dot means connection the same for this the same for this so this wire is connected to this also this wire is connected to this and this one is connected to this but in this no we don't have any co connection any conductivity 
we have an intersection between this tall line without the dot here or we have this bridge like this means there is no connection over here okay so for this symbol this is a resistor as you see the same symbol as here so this is an intermarshalan resistor so this is a normal resistor but e with this row over here means this is a potentiometer okay this is a potentiometer variable resistor that you can adjust manually using a scroll driver for example okay so here we have the varicap this is a diode a varicap two diodes as you see here two diodes exactly like this for the up to isolate okay so this is a relay okay as you see we have here a relay okay this is a relay sample okay so for the relay sample we have here inductor okay this is inductor even if we don't have this sample like this but this is inductor because in the relay there is always inductor and a switch mechanism in this kind of relay we have as you see double true okay so we have here one pole as you see this is just one pole and we have true here and true here so this is sp so single pole sp as you see and we have here double true so d t okay so single pole double true for this switch okay here we have normally open and normally closed so for this relay it, it's normally closed and here we have common okay so common normally closed and normally open so when this inductor on this mechanism inductor receives a power here okay power for example 12 volt okay always with 12 volts or 24 volts so when this mechanism over here receives 12 volt for example this pole will be in the working state and will be will go directly to this draw to normally open and when the power is removed it will go back to the its first state okay for this symbol this is not resistor this symbol this is not a resistor this is a fuse okay we have here fuse means as you see this is fuse okay and for this symbol this is inductor as you see or the filter inductor as you see we have here double inductor this is the first inductor and this is the second inductor but if we add these two lines over here if you find a symbol with two inductor like this and two lines over here this is a metal means a transformer okay the transformer symbol is like this okay for this here we have minus and here we have plus so this is capacitor okay? exactly like this one this symbol and this is the same okay so this is electronic capacitor or polarized capacitor okay with plus and minus so this is diode okay the same as this so we have here minus and plus or anode and cathode so this is diode and this is a resistor a normal resistor exactly like this one and we have here r1 because always the resistor later is the r resistor so for this resistor its value is 330 ohms okay so let's repeat again so this is a variable resistor Okay, so this is a variable resistor, international symbol, PF capacitor or a normal capacitor. This is a phototransistor to ground symbol. Of course, we have a digital ground and the chassis ground. This is a polarized capacitor or electronic capacitor 
inductor or coil symbol resistor this is SPST single pole single throw or a normal switch opto insulator or opto coupler this is the potentiometer variable resistor this is a wiring with dots means connection this is a transistor okay diode variable resistor okay the amplifier resistor this is capacitor polarized capacitor or chemical capacitor diode we have here two inductors with these two lines this is a transformer okay this is a wiring that present no connection fuse relay and varica okay wiring and conductivity basics so as you see here this is some symbols that you will find in any schematics and circuit diagram so this is the first step before going and studying or analyzing any schematic or circuit diagram you should first know about this symbol so let's get started so for this this is a normal connector so this line means wire okay as you see normal wire here this means unconnected wires okay this the, we have here intersection without any dots like this so this is unconnected wire okay here we have connected wires why because we have this dot over here okay means connected wire the same for this as we see before we have dots here means all these wires are connected together but for this the opposite so we have here unconnected wires so this exactly like this one and here we have this bridge means unconnected we can also find in some schematic this okay means unconnected so this or this or this are the same means unconnected wires okay here this is as you see wire and we have here another wire and we have a switch okay so this is an open switch and if the switch becomes like this means close it okay so here we have as you see this dot here with this line means tp a test point okay this is the symbol of the test point okay i see our integrated circuit pin configuration okay so let's get started so as you can see over here this is an ic okay that contains four amplifiers as you see here so of course this is the first pin of this ic why because we have this symbol here we have this symbol here means the left pin is the pin number one you see okay one two three four and so on okay so here for the first amplifier it has two inputs as you see the pin 2 and pin 3 okay are inputs for the amplifier 1 and the pin 1 is the output okay as you see here we have input 1 and input 1 so we have here plus and minus because this is amplifier okay always amplifier has two inputs minus input and plus input and this is output okay so this is the fourth pin is plus v or v plus means the voltage let's assume for example for this integrated circuit that this voltage for example is 5 for example volt for example okay so we have here voltage and here we have the ground so this pin is connected to ground always the digital ground okay 
So this is power and this is ground. And the pin number five and number six are inputs for the amplifier number two, as you see, and the output is seven. Okay, the same principle here. So we have two inputs 10 and 9 for this amplifier, and we have here output. So here we have two inputs 12 and 13, and the output is 14, as you see here. So this integrated circuits contain four amplifier okay and four outputs okay so this is just a normal and simple integrated circuit so as you can see here this is a peak 16 okay this is a big integrated circuit as you see over here okay with a lot of pins okay about 64 pins as you see here 64 so always we should look for the sign that means here is the pin number one so we have here this sign as you see so we have this angle here as you see here okay this is a normal angle but here we have this sign and also we have this hole means this is the pin number one as you see over here okay and always the reading is in this direction okay so one two three four etc in this direction okay so for the pin number one two three four five and six seven and eight this is the same signal as you see we have here so for the pin number one two this is r e signal here we have r g signal so in accordance with the use of the integrated circuit but in pin 7 we have here so the vpp so this is a voltage okay vpp okay so rg5 so this is my so the pin number nine so we have vss means this is ground okay and we have vdt this is a voltage okay this is a working voltage and we have here rf signal okay the same here we have other signals okay here we have vss means this is a ground okay always the analog ground here we have the vdd a voltage over here also we have the ground here okay and we have here also the ground as you see and the vdd also the, the voltage for this ic so this is the pin configuration for this IC and this is the reference for this IC. So for example, if you find when you do your repair that this IC, for example, is failed or damaged, when you want to replace it with another one, you should pay attention to this reference. Always you should replace a failed or a damaged IC or MOSFET or any component with another with the same reference so we have here the, the reference okay so now we are in the level 2 okay so let's go started and study this schematic so as you see here so this is some resistor okay this is resistor all these are resistor okay this and this and here we have cables here with this dot means connection so here we have connection also here connection all these dots means connection and here we don't have connection why because we don't have here like this dot this is just an intersection okay here this is a capacitor okay we have here c capacitor we have here another capacitor C, okay? But this capacitor are not polarized capacitor because we don't have here any sign plus or minus. So as we see before, this is a normal capacitor. And if you find like this capacitor with plus here, this is a chemical capacitor or electrolytic capacitor. We have another sign exactly like this sign. If you find like this, this is also a chemical 
capacitor. Okay. Here we have transistor. So this is TR transistor. We have here another transistor TR. Okay. With this arrow. This arrow goes in this direction. Means this transistor is in P N transistor. Okay. Why? Because the arrow is in this direction the same for this transistor okay so this is transistors capacitors resistors and cables dots means connection and intersection only means wires are not connected okay so for this transistor we have here the base is over here the same the base is over here okay and here this is collector this is collector okay and this is a emitter over here and this is a emitter over here so the emitter are connected together so the emitter of the transistor are connected together okay so let's go and see the next schematic as you see the same principle we have here resistor okay so this is vdd means the power voltage let's assume for example that the vdd equal 12 volt okay so we have here resistor rd so as you see we have here another resistor we have capacitor as you see c1 we have another capacitor over here okay and we have here transistor okay this is the base of transistor and the emitter is connected to the ground this is a chassis ground okay so when this transistor okay this tr transistor receives power here in the base the current will flow in this direction okay okay and then this voltage will pass through this capacitor okay now we are in the level three so as you see here this is an amplifier okay this is amplifier why because we have here two inputs with plus and minus and we have here output as you see vo means output okay here we have v in means input okay so we have here power v plus also we have here v plus okay we have a resistor okay this is a resistor over here 10 kilo ohms okay so we have here the vn the voltage n okay so for the v plus this is the working voltage for this amplifier so the amplifier needs this voltage to be in the full operation to be operated okay and we have here v in in the first input so we have here v in in the first input okay and we have the second input we have minus it is connected directly to this to another resistor r1 and capacitor and then ground so this is analog ground okay this is analog ground Okay, and here also we have analog ground. Okay, we have here another resistor that is connected to the output. So this resistor is connected to the output, okay, and to the input over here. Okay, here in the pin number four we have the ground. So let's assume so we have here eight. So this is an amplifier with eight pins exactly like this. In this chip so we have so four pins here and we have another four pins here so let's assume that we have here the whole over here okay so this is the pin number one pin number two three four five six seven and here we have pin number eight so this is exactly the shape of this amplifier why because we have eight here okay so this is an amplifier with eight pins okay or eight terminals okay so number four is connected to ground here we have number four is connected to ground okay so number eight is v plus so connected to here okay we have here the vo means v output the v in we have resistor okay this is ground this is resistor capacitor ground we have a resistor another resistor with time k and we have the v plus also so this is an amplifier 
Now we are in the level four. Okay, so let's get started. So as you see here, we have this schematic. As you see, this is the main component of the schematic. This is a MOSFET. We have here the gate. Here we have rain, and here we have source. Okay, so this is our major component. As you see, this is a diode in it. Okay, here we have the voltage. As you see. 4.5 volt this is a pulse okay in this shape square square pulse okay this pulse will be applied to the gate in order to make this mosfet in the working state okay so this pulse the pulse width is least or equal one microsecond and the duty factor here is less or equal less than or equal 0.5 percent okay so as you see here we have the vds this is a voltage we have here the rd resistor as you see this is resistor okay we have here vdd we have pl plus and minus so this is a source a power source okay we have here ground this is another ground okay so over here we have resistor another resistor and we have the VGS, okay, another input voltage, okay. So this four plus or four point five volt will go in this direction in order to be applied to the gate. But since we have this resistor here, the four point five volt will not be arrived here. Because we have resistor, we will get here about three. 0.3 volt okay in the gate for example so this mosfet will be in the working state okay and the flow will pass in this direction from drain to source okay so this is the main principle and the working principle basically of this mosfet okay yeah. so as you see here we have a lot of components over here as you see this is we have here plus means this is a polarized capacitor okay this is plus so this is a polarized capacitor or electronic capacitor we have here a normal capacitor with no sign here so this is a normal capacitor we have here do digital ground okay we have here dots okay this dots means connection between this wire and this so we have here the plus 5 volts always okay so this is the power okay so here we have mini dots means all these lines or wire wiring are connected together so this is a resistor as you see pr34 we have here another resistor pr38 and we have here ground so this is ground e means analog ground and this is a ground D means digital ground. Okay, we have here other digital grounds. Okay, so here we have this is the symbol of coil. Okay, symbol of coil as you see over here, and we have PL6, always the L means coil. Okay, so this is another normal capacitor without any sign. So this is a normal capacitor, not chemical capacitor or polarized capacitor. Here we have a resistor as you see PR288. Okay, so this is MOSFETs. Okay, as you see, we have a gate. Okay, and here we have source, and here we have a gate, and here we have the drain. So the source is connected to the ground, okay, to the digital ground. And here also we have source, gate, and drain. Okay, so drain. So the power is received by the drain. And when the gate is activated, the current will flow in this direction and then goes to the drain of this MOSFET. Okay, so this is MOSFET. Okay, as you see here, PQ8. Okay, and this is another MOSFET, PQ8. Okay, we have here diode and we have here diode. So gate drain source, gate drain source. Okay, so we are now in the level six. Okay, so let's get started. So as you see here, we have the main component here is this MOSFET, the Q67. Okay, so here we have plus 3.3 volts always, as you see. Okay, here we have resistor, okay, and 
so this line or this wire is connected to this okay so this 3.3 volt will pass through this resistor and then go directly to the drain of this transistor okay this is transistor okay so q70b okay and here also we have another transistor or basically mosfet okay so we have drain or gate drain and source and the source okay here we have source the source of this mosfet is connected to the digital ground okay so here we have the re on this is a signal re on with 1.05 volt will go directly to the gate of this mosfet here we have a ground connected to the source of this mosfet okay and here we have plus 15 volt always okay we have here resistor r613 okay we have here a diode as you see diode and resistor over here okay so this diode will block the current so the current will pass through this resistor not through this diode okay so we have here capacitor okay so this is q67 okay this is a mosfet with eight pins exactly in this shape okay with eight pins as you see here exactly in this shape okay this so we have here poor so we have here three are source we have here drain gate and this is drain okay so this is source okay this is a gate and this is drain okay so the pin number one is over here so this is a mosfet okay as you see here we have the drain is this okay this is d okay the drain is this okay so four pins as you see four pins are connected together why because we have these dots here okay here we have here source as you see here we have source three pins are connected together okay and here we have the gate as you see here so when the gate is activated so for this mosfet basically this is a, an npn mosfet so this voltage 1.05 volt will pass through will pass from source to the drain okay in this direction okay from source to the drain when this gate is activated okay here we have capacitor where here we have resistor and we have here the digital ground okay again now we are in the level seven okay so let's get started so as you see here we have many components and the major components here is the transistor as you see here we have a lot of transistors okay so here we have the source of power we have v plus okay and here we have a device this is an ammeter as you see here a device okay so we have here a device that measure the current okay this is a current okay so here this is a transistor and here we have a lot of darlington transistor okay this is as you see this is a darlington transistor as you see here two transistor always as you see we have here the base collector and emitter and the emitter of the first transistor is connected to the base of the second transistor means a darlington transistor okay so this is transistor q5 q6 this is another transistor okay the same principle this is so also this is a darlington transistor okay as you see because the emitter of this is connected to the base of this okay so q7 we have here a resistor okay this is the output so this is the input and this is the output okay so over here we have as you see other transistors okay as you see we have q4 q3 q2 and q1 we have inputs this is inputs okay so the inputs it goes here in this direction to the base of this of this transistor as you see so the emitter of this is connected to the ground also for this is connected to the ground the base of these two transistors are connected together so we have here base also here we have these okay and this emitter is connected to the ground the same uh, and this is connected to the ground okay 
So now we are in the level 8. So let's get started. So as you see here, we have here a big schematic that we will study and analyze. So let's begin with this. So this is, as you see, this is the DC connector. As you see, we have DC connector. Okay, we have the, the G12. Okay, and of course, this DC connector has two parts. This part is connected to the ground and this is the hot part. Okay, the power is passed through this wire. Okay, here we have the diode. As you see, we have D1 diode. Here we have a capacitor. So this is an electronic capacitor or a polarized capacitor. So this black line is connected to the ground and of course here we have plus okay so this is all these dots means connection we have here connection okay so this line is goes directly to this connector as you see over here okay so here we have another polarized capacitor as you see we have c15 with 22 microfarads okay so here we have the Vn, okay, the voltage in the input voltage is from here. And also we have here this part of the minus or the negative part of the capacitor is connected to the ground, okay? So here we have an IC, as you see, IC3. This is the reference for this IC, MP2307 or 07, okay? So we have a resistor here. So this resistor is connected to this, to this IC. So this resistor is connected to the pin number 2 and pin number 7 of the IC. Okay? And also connected to this point and to this diode. So this resistor is connected to this diode. Why? Because we have here connection and through this wire. Okay? We have here another resistor, as you see here, and we have here another capacitor. So this is the R4 resistor with 6.8K, means kilo ohm. And we have here another capacitor. This is C17 capacitor. This is 3.9 nanofarad. Okay, the capacity of this capacitor so this capacitor is not like this this is a normal capacitor this is a pf capacitor okay pf capacitor okay we have here another pf capacitor as you see c16 here we have c17 okay so always this is connected to the ground we have here the analog ground all the grounds in this Schematic are analog ground, okay? So we have PIF capacitor. This is just, an, this is the ground. This is just a wire or a line that connected directly to the ground. As you see, we have here ground, okay? So this is some signal. We have here in means the input voltage is in this pin, in pin number two, okay? In. So we have here enable, okay? And compensation, we have S, S, we have G, and D means ground, okay, and we have other signals here. So here we have another capacitor. This is a PF capacitor that is connected directly. As you see, this capacitor is connected to this diode, okay, as you see, and also connected to this coil. Why? Because we have here a dot, but this capacitor is not connected to this resistor because we have we don't have here the dot like this we have just the intersection means unconnected wires okay so this diode the anode of this diode is connected to the ground so this diode is in this position because it block the current to go to the ground okay so this is this diode uses as a protection okay as a protection when there is a problem here in the current over here this diode will be damaged and then the current will pass through 
this to the ground and then the other component in this schematic or in this motherboard will be protected okay so here we have as you see coil or a filter as you see we have here l1 okay here we have a diode d3 okay and here we have capacitor and ground so this diode is connected to this capacitor of course you see with the same wire okay here we have another capacitor resistor another resistor we have here r6 we have here r5 with 10k 10 kilo ohm here we have 44.2 kilo ohm okay so let's go and see what we have also here so we have here dot means this diode and this capacity and also this capacitor and this resistor and all those are connected or are connected to this point here we have here five volt so this means that this ic generate five volts here so generate a voltage here that pass through all this component and goes to this point in this connector we have here five volts okay so here we have another ic as you see ic2 okay here we have switch okay as you see this is a switch okay here this is a fuse this is a symbol of a fuse okay so this is a fuse okay fuse one with 500 milliamps okay so when the current is more than 500 it will blow out it will be damaged okay as you see we have here vcc okay here we have capacitor and here we have led as you see led means a light emitting diode you see we have here two rows this is the symbol of led okay here we have another resistor r7 1k okay as you see here we have 3.3 volts is generated here okay so this is a connector we have here the vcc the reset okay and we have a 3.3 volt comes from here in this switch we have 5 volts okay this ic generate 5 volts as you see through this pin through this resistor and all this compound and directly to this connector here we have ground as you see so we have two grounds as you see here we have here a dot means this is two grounds connected together you see here we have the vn so let's go and see we have here vn so let's go and see uh, exactly we have vn so we have vn pass through this wire because we have here dot so vn goes directly to here okay so this is the first part of the circuit diagram so we will see this second part in the next lecture so let's continue with uh, the other parts of the schematic so as you see here let's begin with this ic as you see so we have here in this part two ic's as you see we have ic4 and ic5 okay so the same ic but with a different reference okay as you see this is 80 mega 16 u2 and here we have 80 mega 32 8p okay so as you see here we have a connector this is a usb connector as you see here usb okay and this is the pins of this connector as you see we have the voltage here and we have the ground in the last pins and we have the d minus the, the d plus and the id okay the identification pin okay so we have here a diode okay we have resistor over here this is pf capacitor connected to the ground and then connected to this pin and this pin as you see we have two dots means these two pins are connected together to the ground we have here other pf capacitors as you see over here okay 
all these capacitors are connected to the analog ground okay as you see here so we have vcc and the pin number four we have other resistor here with 10k okay so here we have resistor we have just this crystal oscillator okay so this symbol is for the quartz or the crystal as you see we have here crystal with 16 megahertz the frequency of this crystal is 16 megahertz and we have next of to this crystal 2pf capacitor okay here we have LED diode you see light emitting diode okay with two resistors as you see R12 and R13 with 1k for each okay 1 kilo ohm so here we have our capacitor so this is PF capacitor and this is a polarized capacitor okay so here we have resistor okay here this is a switch this is a push button as you see switch okay here all these pins are connected to the ground okay so when we press the switch as you see here this vcc will go to the ground okay so this is a push button okay it seems that this button is for the it's a power button okay so here we have the vcc as you see and this is mini point over here so the same principle this ic also have a crystal oscillator as you see with the same frequency 16 megahertz and we have two capacitors the same as here okay so this is all about this schematic so in this schematic we have just some diodes capacitors resistor as you see we have coil here okay this is a filter we have some switches okay we have led as you see over here and crystal oscillators okay and of course we have here some connectors okay so here as you see so we have plus 5 volt in this point we have capacitor the other terminal of the capacitor of course this is a normal capacitor it's not a polarized capacitor okay so the terminal number two is going to the digital ground and number one is going to plus 5 volt we have here diode as you see we have d32 okay this is a diode resistor capacitor this is another resistor we have here so transistor as you see we have here plus 5 volt always so if this transistor receives this plus 5 volt but it's not plus 5 volt because we have here resistor so when this plus 5 volt pass through this diode and then through this resistor it will become about 3 volt or 3.3 volt so when it arrives here this transistor will be activated and then this plus 5 volt will pass through the transistor and go to this resistor and then go to this transistor okay so when this transistor is activated okay this 3.3 volt will pass through this resistor and then go to this ic as you see this is icu 39a okay and then the output of this ic will go to the input of this ic as you see u39 okay and then the output of this ic will become the input of this ic as you see okay so we have u40 so we have this input and we have the other the other input is ren a okay so here for this ic we have here ground okay this is 3.3 volt this is the working voltage for this ic okay so the output of this ic will go and become the input of this ic okay and the output of this ic also will become the second input of this ic and then the output is the ram power okay as you see so in this class we're going to see the last level in this curves okay so let's get started so this is a schematic for a laptop okay but always the same principle with all electronic schematics
with a slight difference okay so as you see here so this is an IC or a chip a big chip so here we have a lot of dots as you see over here this means that all these pins of this chip is connected together okay as you see so all these pins over here is connected together and connected to the ground as you see this is the digital ground okay the same here okay so for these pins over here these four pins all these are connected together why because we have these dots over here okay so let's zoom in as you see we have these dots means connection so if you measure using the multimeter these pins you will find plus 1.05 volts okay so the same principle here okay the same principle as you see all these are connected together so let's go here so as you see so we have here many capacitors okay we have a lot of capacitor and we have here the plus vcc car okay as you see so all these capacitors the same principle are connected together as you see okay here in this circuit as you see we have three capacitors okay so we have three capacitors this is a chemical capacitor because we have here plus as you see plus and minus so this is chemical capacitor and all these capacitors are connected together we have here dot and we have here dot and in this part or these terminals are all connected to the ground we have here the digital ground okay so let's go and see another page so just same principle okay i want to show you about the wiring because this the most important things in the schematic is now about wiring okay as you see so this all these pins as you see we have vss as i told you before vss means negative or ground so all these pins are connected together why because we have here dots okay the same for all these pins are connected to the digital ground the same for this etc okay so in the circuit let's see how this signal is generated we have here the plus vgfx okay this is the power the working power for gmc heads or the north bridge and also for the graphic cards okay so let's see the process for generating this power okay so as you see this is the ic this is the main ic over here okay we have here the pu15 okay this ic is the controller okay for this power okay so we have the ic here we have two mosfets here as you see we have pq50 and pq51 okay two mosfets okay and we have here coil we have here some capacitors so this is a chemical capacitor or polarized capacitor and those are pf capacitors okay so we have here the power is rc often this power equal to 19 volts okay 19 volts so this power is coming from the jack okay the adapter and then this power will pass through this this is a pad okay so we'll pass through this pad and then go through these capacitors okay this is a filtering capacitors and then go to this mosfet but this power or this voltage will stop here it will not pass through this mosfet until this gate okay as you see the gate of this mosfet number four will be activated okay by this ic as you see we have here drive okay drive h okay we have drive h and for this gate we have drive low because this is the upper mosfet and this is the lower mosfet okay so when this ic generates the control signal Okay, the drive H here it will go to the gate of this MOSFET and then this MOSFET will be activated and then this power will pass through the MOSFET okay of course it will generate also this 
signal to this MOSFET in order to be activated. So after the power passed through this MOSFET, it will go through this coil. But I want to add that here we have the power SRC is 19 volt. So here we have 19 volt. But here we will not get 19 volt. No, we'll just get about 1.5 volt or or 1.05 volt so this voltage will pass through these capacitors and this coil and also these capacitors this is a filtering capacitors and then we will get plus vgfx okay